Jenny's left me. Who's Jenny? I'm serious. Jenny, my girlfriend for the last six months. Jenny. You've got a girlfriend? <laughs> you met her? When? At that thing, the office for Christmas do. Oh, God, yeah. All those sad, boring no-hopers in one place. It was your office Christmas do. Your point is? So you don't remember Jenny, then? Jenny. Jen. The Jenster. Jennifer. The blonde, about yay high. Nice smile. Oh, Jenny. No, I've got nothing. You said she was cute. I was probably being polite. So, uh, how did she do it? She told me last night over dinner. Chips? No, yeah, she did it during the starter. Bruschetta and heartache. No, I'm at now. Chips, do you want some? I don't want any sodding chips. Ah, good point. We did have them yesterday. I don't want anything to eat. Right. Clearly, the fact that we've had potatoes two days on the trot isn't the issue here. Look, mate, forget about her, yeah? You know what they say? No. Enlighten me. I don't know. Loads of things. One of them is bound to be relevant. You can take your pick. Thanks. You're a real beacon of hope and inspiration. Oh, I've got one. She doesn't deserve you. Yeah, that's what she said. Finally. I agree on something with Jilly. Jenny. I do too. So, uh, what now? Uh, maybe I should give her a call? I mean, she was acting all weird, and maybe if I just phoned no, her and tried... not about that. I meant if we were going to get food or not, because I've got, like, 30 minutes and we should... Fine, I'll get you some sodding chips. That's my boy. A girl from college. What? And a bottle of rum. Is this a riddle? Hold on. I think I've heard this one. You know what I'm talking about. Is that a clue? Because if it is, it's useless. You told Jenny that I slept with someone else. Come on. Sit. I don't want to sit. I got you a pint. Why would you do that? Because you bought them yesterday, and besides... There's kids starving in Africa. They'd love a pint, so don't waste it. I meant about Jenny. Just sit. I've ordered two French onion soups. You're such a prick. I can always change the order. Look, just explain to me why. She was a serial killer. I've just saved your life. You fancy her, don't you? No. She was cute, though. Well, pug dogs are cute. Doesn't mean I fancy them. Although, if I were a dog, that would be a completely different matter altogether. You know what the worst part is? That I'll never be a dog? That you sat here yesterday and pretended not to even know her. She's very forgettable. You should have told me. Just explain to me why. She was cheating on you. No, she wasn't. Well, no. But she would have, eventually. All serial killers do. She doesn't fancy you. A mystery that will plague scientists for years to come. You had no right. I was doing you a favour. I'm your mate. Yeah, thanks for nothing, mate. Where are you going? I've got to get back. What about lunch? He's seeing someone else. You know I did it for us, right? Me and you, Ollie and Alex, the dream Don't team. you dare make up a nickname. Oh, but it's a really good one. Nope. You'll like it. Nope. The dream team. I'm sorry, did you just say the dream team? <laughs> Who are you? But it was all part of the grand plan. Oh, of course, the dream team has a grand plan. What was I thinking? You don't remember. Clearly not. Go on, though. What was this grand plan, or did it just consist of giving us nicknames? It can be so hurtful at times. Get on with it. Well, we said we were going to give up our jobs and go travelling. I mean, that was the plan. So you sabotaged my whole relationship just so that we could give up our jobs and go travelling? Banzai. You couldn't just, oh, I don't know, speak to me first? Well. This way was better, or at least in my head. Why didn't you just say something? I did. To me. She was all wrong for you, mate, trust me. When did we come up with this grand plan? At, at what point did I agree? Well, remember that time we were high at Jimmy the Hat? You'd have to be more specific. Well, actually, why do they call him Jimmy the Hat? I don't think I've ever actually seen him wear one. I think they call him that because he never wears one. Oh, well, in that case, I want to be Ollie the Big Cock. Some people do call you Ollie the Big Cock. Again, hurting my feelings. Again, get on with it. The plan was to, to travel the world, be spontaneous, just pick a destination and get out there. We could get on a cruise ship, I could learn how to work the bar, you could learn magic and be a magician, I could buy you a cape, you'd love a cape. I mean, just me and you, just sailing off into the sunset. We were stoned. But we were serious, or at least I was. Honestly, what's keeping us here? They're building a big Tesco's. My point exactly. So are you up for this or what? When? Tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow, that's ridiculous. This week. Definitely this week. Well, maybe not. 
It doesn't matter. We just need to do it. Give up our jobs and go travelling. Just like that. You know, it makes sense. We have to get back. Who says we do? Acapulco? What do we know about Acapulco? It's a major seaport in the state of Guerrero. Is that really the best way to do this? I don't know. I'm only on the A's. You should be glad I haven't mentioned Albania yet. Apparently the women there don't shave their pits. Couldn't we just throw darts at a map? Wouldn't we just aim for our preferred destination? We could keep our eyes closed. Yeah, but we'd still aim roughly for where we wanted to go. Yeah, but you can't aim for shit. Good. I don't want to go anywhere shit. Is that a yes or a no on the darts thing? I don't know. I saw it on Bodger and Badger once. Badger got mashed potato on the map. It did not end well. I'm not really sure that's relevant. And actually, um, there's a problem. Yeah. I don't even like mashed potato. It's Jenny. She wants me back. <laughs> she what? She says she made a mistake and that she never should have listened to you. Well, she would say that now, shameless hussy. Oi. You're not seriously considering taking her back, are you? I mean, what about the trip? You're going to have to give me something here, mate, because my mind reading ain't what it used to be. I still really like her. And I'm still mad at you. <laughs> but she cheated on you. I'll change the record. <laughs> seriously. Well, no joke. No joke. Well, was it you? No. Well, who was it then? Fabio. Oh. The Italian guy. Let's see. Jesus. You see, my way of splitting you up, as misguided as it may have seemed, was done with noble intentions. We're still going on the trip, but right? You're not seriously considering taking it back. Again, with the mind reading, you've got to give me something there, mate. Anything. And that's when she started crying. She cried? Over you? Was I saying I'm not worthy of a few tears? I can be a real heartbreaker when I want to be. Yeah, I, I take it back. It's like having my very own Don Draper. Look, the point is, the Jenny thing is done. The Genster is no more Absolutely. She's done. Finished. We move on, preferably by a few thousand miles. Are you really doing this, then? Of course. I'm committed. So now the hard bit, which is, well, we give up our jobs. What's your angle? I was just going to tell her to stuff it. Bold, simple, direct. Yeah, I admire your punch. Living the call centre dream. Which is? Getting out of the call centre. How about you? I don't know, something a bit more subtle. An email, maybe. Or I could go all serious. <coughs> Clive, can I have a word? <laughs> your boss is called Clive? Yeah. What a prick. <laughs> He's all right, really. I could go old school, I suppose. Do people still write letters of resignation anymore? Yeah. Sounds a bit formal. I think that's sort of the point, isn't it? Right, forget form or you're quitting. Yeah, I can do anything. I need to think big. Exactly. You can walk into that office, pull down your pants, take a big shit on your desk if you like. After I pack my pencils. Of course. What are we, animals? <laughs> so, we're going to work. Tell them to stuff it. Me. Pull down pants, shit on desk. You. This is exciting. I'm excited. Now we need to do is actually choose where we're going. I can't remember. Are we doing the old Dart of Destiny thing? Yeah, you had Bodger and Badger flashbacks. Oh, yeah. Flip a coin? Yeah. Hey, and whoever calls it gets to choose the destination. Oh, I like it. And they have to put the ticket so there's no backing out. The coin of fate. Flip for the trip. That's so much better. Go. Call it. There you are. Where have you been? I've been trying to call it. I've tried to call it a hundred times. Been busy? Doing what? Wait, you didn't. I did. You haven't booked the tickets or anything, though, have you? I mean, you've just chosen the location, yeah? Of course I've booked the tickets. I'm fully committed. I don't believe this. Don't you want to know where we're going? I guess. Andalusia. What do we know about Andalusia? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I could only afford one ticket, though, so you better get your ass down there. You don't seem excited. Something's happened. Something's happened in Lowell's, or something's happened in Frowny Face? I've been offered a promotion. <laughs> right, good one and I'm going to take it. Don Draper says what? I've been trying to call. 
You're going to take a promotion after all your talk about being spontaneous. Well, what's spontaneous? Who in their right mind would promote me? I literally have no words. Those sound like words to me. No, just tell me, just make me understand this. Well, it's more money. I figure I save up for a year first before we take the leap. You didn't actually take the promotion, did you? Kinda did, yeah. Well, what does kind of mean? I took it. Well, untake it. <laughs> I took extra 150 quid a month. So what? I could buy a car. You can't drive. I could buy a bike. But you really pushed for this. We went through all the Jenny stuff and now you're backing out. I'm not backing out. The plan's still on. You're too right, the plan's still on. That's the spirit. No, I mean, I'm going. I've got my ticket. Where's yours? You can't go by yourself. Everything you said is true. Life's out there. It's not in an office. It's not in a pub. I'm ready. I'm going. I'm doing this. Stop being hasty. You're being hasty. Can't you just get a refund? I gave him my notice. You did what? Yeah. I took a leaf out of your book, told Clive to stuff it. You should have seen his face. You didn't actually sit on your desk, did you? No, but I got my pencils. <laughs> this is all happening way too fast. How can you say that when it's all you've talked about? Yeah, but that was before. Now it's... No, it's not different. I got to go. I'm going. Just give me a year. And then two, and then three, and then you'll be saying the same thing. Don't get sucked in. I signed the contract this morning. Unsign it, rip it up, light a fire. <sighs> I tried like a hundred times to call you. Two. Two times. No messages, no voicemails, no texts. Well, I've got to go. I'm going. I'll send you a postcard. Have a nice year.